Good morning, good morning. It's Rach here, an award-winning awards writer with, you got it, the awards people. I'm joined on the sofa of success by a dude, a dude in a very smart ironed by himself white shirt um, and fantastic socks, which you can't see. And you're the sadder for it, friends. You are, the, you're missing something or a treat. Um, Mark, thank you for joining us on the sofa of success. Legally obliged to say it's Pete's sofa because it's getting famous. It's, um, <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably have a number of these coming up at some yeah, point. Probably well, probably yeah, probably will. Probably auctioning on eBay or something. Um, but uh, we claim it once a month to have all our guests sit on it and just enjoy talking about awards. So rather than me stuff up your background and who you are and what you're doing and all about your business, do you want to tell our viewer in uh, South Shields who you are and what you do? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, hi. Um, Mark Platt. I'm the owner of Insight Consulting. Um, it's a sales and business development commercial strategy consultancy um, aimed at helping professional services and SME owner managed businesses with their business development and commercial strategy. Wow. Succinctly said, my friend. <laughs> I'd have been a practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that elevator pitch thing. <laughs> what do you do? You've got three floors to tell me. <laughs> no, I blame the IOD for that. They normally, they're normally good at getting you to do that and that stand it up. That is very <laughs> true. We blame, we blame the IOD for a lot on this. Yeah. <laughs> Sue Charlesworth, you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah, and we had uh, Ron on the Sofa Success last month talking about, oh, it's just fab, we had such a laugh. And uh, we're going down to the IOD Awards on the 18th of oh, wow. October as well. Oh, we've got fantastic. some big winners on the table. So, we've, oh, come on. So yeah, we're gonna have fun. Yeah, one of my clients was um, was yeah. recognised for like a, a, an achievement award um, or a recognition award. Yeah, yeah, uh, I was yeah. gutted I couldn't make it on that on the day it was being done. But um, <sighs> yeah, Martin Sandu had his um, had his recognition award, so he was quite happy with that. Brilliant. No, I mean it, it's it's a great award to enter. Now before we go any further, though, this brings up a really important point. I've asked Mark to join us because he, from his own uh, company point of view, which has been running now how long? How long have you been running? 19, 20 months? Yeah, I was about to say, kind of 12, 18, so yeah. January just... 17, January 17 we started. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh, won't be long before we hit the two year point. We so. whippersnapper. Um, I've asked Mark to come and talk to us about entering awards in his own right, but as you've just heard, he also advises some of his clients to, to get in there as well. Now, uh, I want to make it really clear, you know, the, the, uh, the awards people, is all about transparency. We have had nothing to do with any of this success, but I know Mark, um, and it's interesting to see a business that's early in its, its development actually getting in there, because quite a few people to me will go, oh yeah, but yeah, we're only 12 months old, or mm, we've, not, we've not got the big figures on our turnover yet because we're only young, or whatever. And I keep saying to them, it's not about how long you've been about and what your figures are, it's about the whole story. So Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about why you decided to get involved with awards. Um, as you say, it's not about, um, it's not about your turnover. Um, it's not about, I say, necessarily where you are right there in that, space, that, that moment in time. It's about the journey you've gone on, um, the successes you've had. It's probably also about the failures that you've had and how you've turned that into, you know, a learn or a success. Um, but having a platform to to shout about that, um, you know, I think that the awards are, whichever awards you do, you know, whether it's a, you know, a, a paid awards or, you know, like an IOD where you're a member or one of the, the, the press, press awards, um, it's just a great platform to get your name out there, let, let the world know what you're up to. and. And ultimately, you know, from a selfish point, from a business owner point of view, you want to turn that into revenue at some point. Mm. You know, you want to get people to know who you are so they can put the phone up and give you a call and see if you can do some business. It's about clear differentiation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and putting your head above the parapet, being noticed. Oh, uh, without doubt, it's about being noticed. And, you know, there's no better way to do that than, you know, being, being in an awards where you're in a room with six, seven, eight hundred people. And, you know, if you've been a semi-finalist, a finalist, or even if you're fortunate enough to win, you know, to have your name go out in the, in the literature and mm -hmm. um, people to recognise that, you know, that's fantastic. So what have you entered, what, what's your award history so far? Because obviously I picked up from niche awards that yeah. you were uh, all over that. That's yeah. where I kind of went, ooh, Mark. <laughs> Get in on the sofa for a success, I yeah. thought. Okay. So <laughs> I've done... So I did two, two entries last year. Mm -hmm. um, so I was nominate, I nominated 
not so at niche in 2017 mm -hmm. i'd nominated i'd put insight consulting through for for best new business mm -hmm. i think i'd also had a our own friend in business, uh, I think Rick Pancholi over at Patterson's, yeah. who's actually a finalist this year. He is. He's put he put me forward for that oh, for that awesome. category as well. Um, I also Hot no bloke. I also had nominated him for is it best business in person or there was a there was an individual category yes, which I put Rick right, forward for, yeah. um, and my wife's business as well because I sit on I'm a director in my wife's firm, oh, um, yeah. but that's. Oh, name check. Uh, <laughs> so Bella Boo Boo's, it's a childcare, it's a childcare facility in Leicester Forest East. So if you live in LFE and you need childcare, then Bella Boo Boo's is the place to go. There we go. Um, <laughs> but uh, that, it was, it's quite a quite a niche category. And actually, I didn't think when we put the, the put uh, put the nomination in, is I did say to Jeremy at the time, I said I'm not sure whether or not that's that's one that will get recognised for for what you've done. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, 2017 really didn't, for, for our own individual businesses, didn't hold any, uh, hold any glory for us. Um, but this year, um, I was proud as punch actually to find out I'd got four nominations for the same category. Blimey! So one of my clients... Wow, that's dominating. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so well done, that's brilliant. I know. Brilliant. Jenny rang me and said, you do know that you've got four separate nominations, as well as your own nominations. Yeah, four. So I'd got myself and four others. I'd all put me forward. Isn't that brilliant? So, Love um, that. Yeah, I, yeah, I was proud You've as been punch. buying the right coffee for the right people, yeah. Fred. <laughs> well, was good. Yeah, that's, that, that's 20 years in the making. <laughs> yeah. talk, about a long, talk about a long burn. <laughs> All um, good things, my love. Yeah, absolutely. All good things. Um, so, you know, that's, I suppose, looking at 2018, I, the, the recognition for myself personally came because, you know, we'd had a really tough trading year coming into the back of 2017. We'd had a great start to the business in... In, from January through to July, and we hit the summer period, mm. and it went. Ooh, and I was like, "It's okay. It's the summer. It's the summer. You know, let, let, let's just take a breath." And then we're getting nearer and nearer to Christmas, and I'm like, ah, "Surely everybody's not still on a summer break. What's going on?" <laughs> you know the thing about Christmas. Right? <laughs> yeah, and um, you know, we I ended up going away for my um, 40th, um, and that, that was a, that was a present for my wife that had been booked some time ago, um, and we'd gone away, and we were almost over that period thinking about what are we going to do with this because if it doesn't start to pick back up again actually it might not have legs for much longer um you know we went away recharged the batteries come back cut a long story short we uh you know the business did pick back up and it picked up with you know some ferocity actually in the early part of this year um to the point where people are calling me and i'm not doing any business development all of a sudden i'm talking to people based on conversations that have been had a year ago mm. and yeah, I was turning people away at one point, which is, you know, fantastic. It's not great to turn people away, but it's, you know, in terms of your, your own place where you are. You're it doing was, something right. Yeah. Um, so to be recognised for that effort and the way the business was moving forwards by being nominated for Niche, I thought, actually, that's brilliant. And in my hometown as well, because Insight operates across the Midlands. Yeah. Um, so I've got a number of clients spread out all across, all across the Midlands. Um, but to be nominated by four local businessmen in Leicester, I just thought was actually that that's you know, oh, that's quite tops. good. Brilliant. Now, friends, I'm hearing two really important things out of here. One, uh, Mark had a go, didn't get anywhere, wasn't put off. The amount of people I speak to go, oh yeah, yeah, we tried to enter an award once, didn't work. Uh, sponsor one, uh, it's all fixed. I'm not going to bother again. I'm going, no, 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 no. Let's learn from yeah. it. Uh, and when we have clients, I, I had to send out a couple of emails this week. I hate doing it, but we have a client. Um, they hasn't won on two categories. Admittedly, they are big categories and big awards, and, and it's fiercely competitive. But even so, let's not make excuses here. Let's find out, right, what is it? What are the top tips? What did we miss? Why didn't he get shortlisted? And we send those emails out and we learn from it because that's, that's how you move forward Absolutely. in anything. Absolutely, yeah. So don't give up. If you have entered an award and you haven't won, have a go. Look at what Mark's been saying. Niche, uh -uh, in 2017, this year, Oh, I feel sorry for him being in the category, yeah. frankly, but there we, there we go. You're too kind. <laughs> um, but also, the second point is it's, it's about choosing your categories. It's about looking at the long term. It's about maximising that award. It's about, you know, it, it, you've got some really good messages around that. Absolutely. And, you know, I think that you know, the, one of the key messages for me is if you're either entering an awards or you're being part of it or you're attending, you know, any part of that process is that, you know, don't just sit on a seat and let the, let the, um, let the event pass you by. 
you know, make sure that you take some of that literature home. Make sure that you understand who your finalists were, who your competitors were. Because um, they're all people you can talk to. Yeah. And they're all, they're, you know, there's a conversation to be had for months after that event because you've got something in common with that person. You know, you were at that event with them. You might have been a finalist with them, semi-finalist, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You know, you were involved in that award ceremony. So, you know, capitalise on it and see if you can make a meeting or some revenue from it afterwards. It's, it's a door opener, isn't it? Instead yeah. of having to bang on that door and push against it, that door's open with a little crack. Like, oh, you were both finalists and the da 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 Yeah. <laughs> Speak to me. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. It's Absolutely, true. yeah, no, it um, is. You know, what you were talking about um, people recognizing you from the award entries as well and, and kind of beginning to generate conversations. I mean, that, that's just that's just tops to hear that. Pete said something similar. He's had people coming up to him going, hey, congratulations on being a shortlisted finalist for the. I don't know who yeah. you are. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it's well, great. Well, opener for a conversation. Well it is, I was down at Tech Week, my, my friend Martin, um, who runs um, the bi this business in, um, this software business in, in Nottingham, you know, he's been up for two awards recently, Nottingham Post Business Awards oh, yeah. and the IOD. Yeah. Um, and his commercial director, Natalie, um, has also been put up for, I think it's HSBC and the Entrepreneur Awards uh, down in London. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, or the Young Entrepreneur Awards, which, whichever, whichever it is. Um, and she had been recognised by two senior business leaders at Tech Week down at the Excel when we were down there um, because of her entry. Um, it's open to doors, friends. Yeah. I'm telling you, I've got a client, been knocking on Tesco's doors for years, keeps at winning on um, Innovation Awards, Best Business Award, Entrepreneur Award. Tesco's picked the phone up to him a few months ago, they've just done their first project. Yes. That's the point. Yeah. Well, it goes back to the, I, you know, I, I really believe it goes back to, to, to the point I, I make with clients. If you've got something to shout about, shout about it. You know, and there's no bigger voice than an award ceremony. Yeah. You know, there's um, too many best kept secrets in this world. Of course I think. there is. You know, if you're good at what you do, you know, you're credible, you've got some expertise, you've got to let people know what you're doing. You can't make any money otherwise. You know, you've got to, you've got to shout. And that's what we're in business for, isn't it? Of course it is. Well, to have fun as well, but yeah, yeah to make some dosh. Make some money, have some fun. Pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> Get a suit that fits. You know. <laughs> yeah, shop, dude. Um, what about the future? What's the future holding for, for you with Insight and award entries? Are you talking to your clients about? Are you encouraging them to kind of yeah, share the Yeah, so, so what I'm doing with them at the moment, um, you know, I've worked with uh, one of the big national law firms here, um, here in, across the East Midlands. Yeah. So, um, and they won't mind me saying, but Shakespeare Martin have become, you know, become a major project for me. Mm. Um, and we are one of the key things we're looking at is their their award entries um, because the project I'm working with them is really a commercial elevation project. Yeah. You know, it's about getting their name and brand back out in the marketplace. Yeah. Um, so the awards are absolutely a way of doing that across all the different disciplines they operate in. Um, it's the same for Insight. You know, we we're, we're as a business we're we're looking at not just elevating our own profile across the Midlands but nationally, so there's an opportunity for us to maybe look at a London, a London project um, over the next year. Brilliant. Um, but for me, the, the way that Insight is going to grow is our acquisition. So um, we've got our first, Ooh. our first, shall we say, tentative steps on the M&A trail have taken place. So wow. I've spoken to one of the, the well-known accounting firms in the UK that have got a real strong presence across Nottingham and Leicester. Yeah, um, I won't say who they no. are at the moment, uh, <laughs> but the lady who I've been talking to is a great friend. Mm. Um, she's as wacky, if not more wacky than I am. Um, you know, she said, I'd love to help you with that, Mark. Um, oh, I so, so I think that we are, we are looking, we've got tentatively, we're looking at um, making an acquisition at some point next year, if possible. Um, and the vision there will be to create a suite of agencies or consultancies, you know, maybe have four, five businesses under the Insight Group banner. <gasps> that all complement each other. That, you know, maybe in a few years time, somebody will come along and say, we want to buy Rockefeller. Yeah. <laughs> Bingham, we're sitting with Rockefeller. I love the ambition, that's yeah. fantastic. You know, if it happens, you know, the, the ambition gets met, that's brilliant. But if you haven't got, in my view, if, the amb if you don't have the ambition, then, you know, you're not on a, you're not making that journey forward, so. You've got to be pushing the boundaries and expanding that possibility and the what if and the how do we do this crazy yeah. stuff. I haven't got a clue, let's find somebody who knows. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in and sharing this with yeah, my us. My pleasure, my I'm pleasure. I'm so excited, I can't wait to hear the result from Niche. I'm going to be looking at my phone going, because oh, I'm on holiday. Uh, <laughs> who's winning, who's winning, who's winning? 
Well, I think I, I'm up against, um, well, the, the people in the, 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 the main people in the categories, or my competitors, of, you know, they've done some great stuff in business. So I've been sending them messages, actually wishing them, you know, sending them congratulations, yeah. saying that if they win, you know, they're, they're, worthy, they're worthy winners. So. How did you prep and get on with the judging panel? Because you had to go in front of the judging dudes, didn't you? No, not for this year. Oh! No, so, sorry, um, I was semi-finalist. So the three people drawn for finalists, ah. the three people drawn for finalists, um, I think in the category I was in are, I can only remember two of their names, so. Yeah, I, let's the, not name check them. Yeah, no, I will We'll upset somebody. No, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I, I did my application, so I put my words in, yep. follow the, following the announcement that was made by Jenny Dan at Chutney Ivy yes. for the semi-finalists. So I was bouncing around like a kid at Christmas. And... Um, <laughs> No, unfortunately, it didn't move forwards for me uh, past semi-finalists. But um, you know, I'm sure that the guys that next are in that year. next year, next year we're on. So next maybe year. we we get an acquisition moving and we win an award next year. So oh my goodness, it's going to be a big year for yeah. you. I hope so. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. I love it. And get yourself into the IOD, your director of the year awards as well. Yeah, I know. I need to. I need to do more with the IOD. In fact, there's the the two platforms that I really want to do more with uh, the CBI and the IOD. Mm -hmm. Um, you two know, they're, yeah, two really good platforms in terms of being, you know, having a voice and getting your name out there mm. in industry. Um, so, yeah, do, we're going to do more of the IOD. Pete was saying when he uh, networked the room, uh, when he was up for the finalists in the East Midlands, he came out with three or four business meetings just yeah. from networking that room. So, I mean, it's easy and done. then he also won his category. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I see on the freaking cake, but yeah, yeah great. I, mean, I think next time we do this at Pete's place, we'll probably have a leather Chesterfield here or something, won't we? You know, probably will. Though I'm very fond of this sofa of success, which we have uh, right to once yeah. a month. <laughs> I say. Um, right, before I let you uh, release you back into the wild of Leicestershire business, <laughs> I've got three fast, quick questions oh God. Uh, to ask. No, no, it's all a bit of fun. So uh, you are sitting at the table of an awards um, finalist dinner. Yes. Somebody stands on the stage and says, and the winner is Mark Platt. <laughs> High five or bear hug, my friend? Is it a bear hug? Yes, it's a bear hug. It's a bear hug. You go up on the stage, is it just you or do you take your team with you? Oh, no, I'd take the team. Absolutely take the team. Stage invasion. And uh, you're coming off the stage, somebody is at the bar very kindly says, Mark, Mark, Mark what can I get you? Champagne or Prosecco? I can't get my teeth in. What's happened to me? I need a coffee. Champagne or Prosecco? Oh, it's easy that one. Um, take the facade away, it's Prosecco all day long. I'm a, oh. I'm a cheap date. <laughs> I'll remember that yeah, I'm when I'm the one. I'm a cheap date. In that case, I will be the one standing at the bar going, it's a cheap date, Prosecco, all the way. I'll just check and he'll go, champagne. If I'm, be, if I'm being honest, I can't tell that someone gives me a glass of fizz, it's a glass of fizz. <laughs> <laughs> We've had somebody say no, it's got to be a pint of Guinness. We've had somebody say Jaeger bombers. <laughs> Jenny Cross. Oh, da, the cross. Well, exactly. The cross. However, if I had a choice, yes. it'd have to be... Go on um, I can't even remember the bloody drink now. Um, <laughs> That's because it's on the for a summer cold. It's gone. Are we talking spirits? No, gin and tonic, but it's, a, the, it's the... Oh, it's a particular type of gin and tonic, is it? Rhubarb gin and ginger ale. Ru L listen, people, it sounds wrong. It sounds wrong. And when I was told about it, I went, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Try it. Rhubarb gin, ginger ale, it will change your world. It Ooh. will change your world. That's a big claim, friends. I want somebody. Panama Superstar. She's not here because she's on holiday. Panama <laughs> Superstar. We're going to put this into your hands. You need to try. She's a gin drinker. She's got yeah. sweet gin. She drinks anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, that was racist and bad on so many levels. I apologise to everybody apart from Pam because it's true. Um, <laughs> Panama Superstar. Mark says that you need to try rhubarb gin. Rhubarb gin. And ginger beer. Yeah. So I'm going to plug a pub, if I may, because they oh, do the best. They? So the Forge in Glenfield. They serve it in a nice gin. So it's the same people that own the Rutland and Derby just around here. Gin yeah, they get you like a big, bowl. yeah, big gin goldfish bowl. Loads of ice. They put a bit of garnish in there. Big shot of uh, rhubarb gin and um, a um, <laughs> ginger ale. Hey, Dave. Dave Sinclair, filmmaker extraordinaire. You know where we're going for Christmas, do don't now, don't you? Three. Three. It's Thank a good, you very much. Yeah, it's Top a good, it's tip. a good drink, especially when the sun when the sun's out. Thank you so much for My struggling pleasure. through a summer cold, <laughs> squeezing us in, ironing your shirt. Thank you My very much. My goodness. And I think I'm busy. <laughs> Don't know I'm born. 
Uh, thank you so much. My pleasure. I no, can't thanks, wait Rachel. to see you at the next awards. I'm going to be looking out for your name. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Babe. Well, just so, I mean, so you know, I've got two clients that are going to be at the Niche Awards this year. Um, so we've got tables for them both. You know, we're going to be doing a full, a full storm, always, stomping of the paddock. I, I always feel a little bit sick. I've got two clients on our table at the IOD National Awards. <sighs> And they are strong competitors. There's 105 finalists, because obviously what? it's all the finalists from all the regions. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I feel a little bit sick about it. I bet you do. And the winner is not my client. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I'm just going to the, I'm going to be sitting in the toilets most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got in a raft of top see, chums and business boats. Yeah, but that's a big, that's a big ceremony, the IB is, Nationals. And you know what? My clients are awesome. You know, they're, they're not going in with any expectation. They're going, do you know what? There's, but oh, come on. Of course we do. And I like my clients to win. I like and the clients to win. I'm just going to sit there going, oh, but it's not, <laughs> the, it's not the winning, it's the taking part. Mm. Well, well, what we did for uh, year. <laughs> the Leicester Mercury Business Awards, I took the Shakespeare, Shakespeare Martin routine. Yeah. And we managed to collar the, the, the photographer on the day, um, on the evening. And he took a photo <laughs> of everybody and he made us all punch the air like yeah. we won. And it, it got put out in, the, in the, um, the supplement in the Leicester Mercury. And everyone were calling in and did you win an award? And we were like, no, we just gay crashed. No, we just gay crashed. Now that <laughs> is the top tip of the series so far. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to nick that. Yeah, if you don't win, just gate crash. I'm going to nick that and possibly, no, you know what, I'm going to nick that and, and credit it to you because <laughs> that's genius on a level, but that's evil genius status. The publicity we got for that was brilliant. The link, LinkedIn for Shakespeare Martin, you went crazy. Remind me to buy you a rhubarb gin and ginger beer at some I point. I can pass the secrets on, Rachel. <laughs> Naive Hargrave is about to check out and uh, see what else he's got to tell us. Look, look after yourself. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you next week for another Top Tips series on the blog. <laughs>